basically, I did a terrible job explaining everything that goes on in this video, so from time to time I'm just going to do little voice notes over it just so that you can understand what's going on. At the moment, I'm in the garage doing the airbag light for the MOT, just to try and get that so that it's off the car, because it was just a fault code that was historic, that it was just stayed on for some reason, because the flashing light had turned off at this point after I plugged the seats back in and it was just the fault that was on the dash, so we turned that off and it stayed off, and it has stayed off since then actually, so fingers crossed it doesn't come back.
breaking, Emma. How is it breaking? Your brake light must be fucked, bro. Your brake switch has got classic Volkswagen. Porsche, basically a Volkswagen. Yeah, so this time round it actually failed again. So this was the second MOT test I've ever had on this car and it failed. It was the passenger side lower control arm bushing. It was completely deteriorated. It just wasn't safe. Well, it was basically coming out pretty much. This is just me driving back to my friend's garage to get that repaired and then booked in for another MOT retest. What? There? Oh, wait, what? I'm not making it off that. Yeah, so after this, we basically repaired quite a lot of the minor faults on the advisories when we were just at his garage just then. And I also got it booked in for the repair for the lower control arm as well. So there was a couple things that I had to do, like free ball down the seats properly. Also, I needed to free off one of the brake calipers because the pad was sticking a little bit. Basically, I had it booked in for the next week to get all that sorted. And then I saw a police car at the end of the road. Lol. I didn't want to leave it as a dead end video. I didn't want to leave it as I just failed. That's why I left it another week before actually uploading it. So I can finally say, after the Black Ibiza, the FR, failed its MOT three times in a row. Yes, you heard that right. It failed three times in a row. And finally, it is now, as of yesterday, legal. It passed its MOT with one advisory, which is playing the steering rack joint which I was expecting because it's been in all the other MOT advisories, so I will get that done this year at some point before the next MOT, but finally, she's legal.